tragedy in Upper Darby, two little girls, twins, killed when fire rips through their home. Their mother jumping out of a second story window to get to safety. Jeff, this is just heartbreaking. What happened here? It certainly is heartbreaking. The community certainly has been impacted by this. Ashiba, the Upper Darby uh, fire chief says the fire crews arrived here in the early morning to find heavy fire on the second floor. They quickly were able to put those flames out, but young lives were lost. A small memorial grows in the front yard of the blackened home on the 300 block of Upper Darby's Margate Road where the two young lives were lost. Neighbor Reginald Spotwood says hearing the five-year-old twin sisters pleading for help, he entered the burning home to try to save them. Just a fatherly instinct, that's all. I got three daughters, so I know how I feel. And plus, they was right there screaming, help me, help me. The heavy smoke and heat turned him back, Upper Darby's fire chief says. The sisters perished in their bedroom with an open door from fast-moving flames that ignited in a room below them. When that fire starts in the front living room area, right by the steps, it goes up the steps easily. And when you open up the door, and add fuel to the fire that helps the fire grow faster and spread fast. The children's mother, who investigators have not named, but according to property records, is the owner of the two-story home, survived by jumping out of a rear window and was in surgery at mid-afternoon. Video recorded by a child from across the street shows firefighters on the porch of the scorched home. The fire chief says a smoke detector was heard blaring in the basement of the property, but none were found in the upper floors. I don't want to think about it because it's, it hurts, it hurts a whole lot. I don't want to think about it. I have kids, I have a grandson. I know how painful it is to lose your kids. A few hours after the 4 a.m. fire was snuffed out, a somber gathering of neighbors remembered the young family arriving here just a few months ago and the happy twins who played out front. For a child to lose their life, the way they did, you know, it's words can't even explain, you know, the devastation of how it happened to them. Investigators have yet to name a cause of the fire. This afternoon, going door to door along Margate, they offered new smoke detectors to residents. Well, it's just sad. It's just a sad feeling to know that a mother or anybody lost their children in a fire. Now, two firefighters were injured trying to save those young lives. They have been treated and released. They are being offered counseling and investigation underway, underway exactly as to what caused this fire. Again, a smoke detector apparently working in the basement, none found in the upper floors, and a memorial is scheduled here, planned here by the neighbors who are certainly mourning sometime tomorrow evening. Live in Upper Darby, Jeff Cole, Fox 29 News. Sheba. So much heartbreak there. Jeff, thank you.